five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. January it was cold, rainy, but you get to go home and have a nice cup of tea. King George IV, or Prinny as they like to call me. I love partying, gabbing, and of course horses. Before I was the king, I asked the architect called William Pordain to build me a huge stables and riding room for my horses. The stables and riding room were fantastic. There was enough room for 60 horses. The main stables is now the Brighton Dome Constant Hall. The huge writing room is now the Corn Exchange. I'm Queen Victoria and I took over as Queen after George died in 1830. I didn't like Brighton. I sold the Corner Exchange and the Royal Pavilion to the town to raise money to buy new furniture and decorations for the buildings. The people of the town held a big party in the dawn. I'm Mary Leah. In 1900s, lots of women like me thought that it was not fair that they could not vote. 
We protested and fought for the right to be able to vote. We had slogans like votes for women and vote deeds not words. In January 1910, me and Eva Bourne got arrested vote at Brighton Dome. We women. were found hiding inside the organ. We were planning to protest against Prime Minister. I often got arrested for my protests. All women got the right to vote in 1928. The year is 1974. The Eurovision Song Contest has just finished, and the winner is Abba from Sweden at Stockholm, Sweden. Abba, I bet you're excited. I bet you're still you about it. I bet you're still about winning the contest. How do you feel? Oh, what feels so great? What feels so great? Thank you, thank you for selecting us. Thank you, just for thank you for every country, every jury, every colour for saying just for to us. You know, in Sweden, our currency in Scandinavia is the Swedish corona. A corona is a crown in Swedish, but tonight the crown, the crown is ours. The crown, the currency is the crown of your version. Good evening. This is the news at 10. My name is Rami Mansour. Here are the headlines. Aliens have landed in Brighton at the I-360 and they are taking over the city. The authorities had asked you to stay indoors, keep your guns closed. If you see an alien, shoot, shoot it. about Stalin's existential crisis. <laughs> I stand in awe and no one knows. I've secretly escaped, my abode awaits. And then I shall explore the seafront and maybe more. Awake, unaware of everyone else today. My soul's awake, I revel in the taste. <laughs> Too content to be alone on this one occasion of escape. I see them on my own. Ooh, a tree to wait. I enter that old, oh, the spiral, the spiral. Unknown to them at home. Me contain a deeper side, poetry awaits. I'm naive, oblivious to the real soul of everyone else, but me and their souls may be sick or sickening, for all I know. Anyway, oh, oh. And then I see the starlings. Oh, they are something else, eh, mates? Hi, my name is Jason. But this film isn't about me, it's about my dog Phoenix. I take him for a walk twice a day, and we always come here to the Downs. To get to the Downs to my house, it takes me 10 minutes. So it's not too far, which is pretty good. I don't really let him off the lead that much, because he's actually, he sometimes runs away from me. And when he does, um, not every time, but 20% of the time he runs home. This time, he got hit by a car. Uh, we had to carry him to the vet, and he just said time will tell. And luckily he pulled through. <laughs> Ah, ah, well, we, we was on a walk once, and um, some, he started to sniff this bin, and out of nowhere, this seagull came out and tried to dive bomb him. Now, my dog's a bit of a wuss, so he, he doesn't like most things, but he's ever since ever since this seagull dived him, um, it, he's, he's not like them at all. But the thing is, it's happened a couple of times, and i got to say, he's actually quite hilarious watching the seagull chase the dog down the path. <laughs> 
I like it because it's pretty much every, every day I'm always in town. I'm always seeing buildings. And it's a different change of scenery because it's just green fields. I mean, it all depends on the time of year you go. If you go early in the morning, there's a lovely frost and it looks amazing. Going in the autumn is probably my favourite time of year because um, all the leaves of the tree are starting to turn a different colour. <laughs> They're starting to fall off and then the wind catches them and you can just watch them fly in the wind. Uh, and then you've got all the, all the birds and that whistling. To be honest, I think it's brilliant just to have that scenery once a day. It's worth it. Me. 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 First uh, time back in a rehearsal room in 14 months. I'm a poet and I know it. Annually there's always a glimpse of the lovely honey sweet, warm, relaxed, summery summer. Me loves the enjoy life when you can, says my mind, be like a bee buzzing on a constant ruminating hummer. Dean Mazuszynski and I'm here rehearsing a small pond. This week uh, it's Lark in the Park, a great fantastic summer event at an open air theatre and I'm performing. This is my first ever performance you know in two years we're going to have music poetry and all sorts of performances from people and uh, i guess the theme is summer and positivity and uh, having a lark in the park larking around so fire is sort of a uh, bit of rock bit of metal and uh, uh, the power of tv is sort of Pop rock. BBC, ITV Channel 4 and Channel 5. TV Centre State is the new technology. Television, Power of TV, the new face of entertainment. Television, the power of TV, a change. Entertainment forever. Television. So, yeah, as in a full on life performance yeah electrically this will be the first since March of last year I am feeling excited yeah that's good is that good? bit fast on last bit but that's alright <laughs> not bad at all so Much better. And then I'll take a stroll. It's 
great, great to be here at Brighton Open Air Theatre. It's a, it's a wonderful venue. It's a wonderful place. You should come here. You should come here. It's a, it's a great place to come on a nice sunny day like today. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to performing on stage, and this is first live outside event, so I'm quite excited about that. Yeah, it should be really fun, and uh, well, I will perform. I will enjoy performing myself, and I should be. So um, it'll be exciting, it'll be fun. And all the things will shine Soft with always fall in line Thank you very much Lots of things going on Portraits, films, music, dancing Hello my friends, my friends, welcome to Brighton's Open Air Theatre, or as it's better known, Lark in the Park. Hello! Come on everyone, can you all get up, because we're going to do the comments message. One, two, First time I've been to this lovely open air theatre, but it's really nice. The queen of summery passion and musical bliss until me gets bored of it. Like everything. My name is Ryan O'Donovan. And, and as Carousel called for a lark in the park, that's exactly what I'm going to give them. I'm having a wonderful time. Yeah, I'm here with Gig Buddies, so yeah, enjoying, just enjoying seeing some live music. First time I've been, actually. <laughs> So I went to support Ellie or Eleanor. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Um, fantastic evening. Really good. I've got together again to do this and pull it off. So we have had the best night. It was absolutely excellent from start to finish. Thank you, good night, you've been a wonderful audience. I hope you had a brilliant day. Thank you guys. Fantastic. Thank you, Carousel, for, for this fantastic event. It's great to be out for the first time in months since this pandemic. It's been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Carousel! Oh, 
of the 10th edition of Oscar Bright Film Festival. Oscar Bright is the world's biggest learning disability film festival. Love, brightness, and the sun. It feels great to have extra and colour at all. Send us your film. Send us your film. Send us your film. Oh. A man with a subject of making. We need your film. I am Mr. Wolf. Will you ever get down from everything? All my band variations coming from the tears inside. We're looking for every genre. This could include drama, animation, comedy, dance, sci fi, horror, LGBTQI, and films by women. These films need to star or be made by people with a learning disability, autism or Asperger's. Submissions close soon. If you can make films, go out there and do it. Head to our website to find out more. www.oscarbright.org Oscar Bright, be there. See you at the festival. 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 See you at the festival.